and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be doing the best training values in Madden. Have me one of these videos in easily like a month or two. I know you guys probably need this because with all the training, all the upgrades, all the new abilities, all the power-ups. You guys probably definitely need to know the best training values. I don't think many people on YouTube really do that that often. So it's probably a good refresher for you guys so you guys are up to date on the training values. There is always a feature on Monday to look through, but it's not entirely exact. And it's not always matched up to the right price as it is on here. So it's always good to get the exact math. And remember, one quick advice when it comes to training value, guys. Always check the math afterwards when you're doing it. Because remember, what might be going for this today when I make the video might be going... <coughs> excuse me. Slightly more... Or slightly less when you guys do it so make sure you check the math obviously it's not gonna be too far apart so you're gonna be fine either way but if you want to be an exact a perfectionist you can always check it now right, guys before we get into this video make sure down below hit that subscribe button turn the notify bell boys come join the family be greatly appreciated if we can get to 20k by the end of february comment down below if you have any other training values or you guys have any advice on this at all down below as well as can you guys like the video can we get to 350 likes in this video noti gang you guys gotta keep going strong you guys always go strong so let's keep it up now let's head over to the auction block show you guys all the values we're going to start with 87s and work our way up. So that's the way I like to do it. I like to start with, I'm going to give you guys a range, right? Because obviously not everyone can afford certain cards. So I can't give you guys the highest price cards. So I got I to gotta keep within a range. So 87s go for approximately, I believe, let's see. This The best value before was Max Crosby on the Raiders, team of the week. So let's go search that up. So let's see, 87, Max Crosby. He was going for like 32K. So he goes for about 1,860, 1,860 training. So you divide that by the, the amount he goes for, it's about 11 coins per. So that's one of the best values in Madden right now, 11 coins per. So remember that, Max Crosby, 87 right end, one of the better values you can get. So that's good for like a budgety team that only has 60K and you guys gotta get small increments of training. As we go up, obviously you'll get similar values. But this is for people with a lot of coins, you wanna buy a bunch of training in bulk, make it a little bit easier on yourselves. Now let's head over to the 88s for the next value. We got, click on out we gotta always we gotta always filter these out the well, 33k is fine actually so 33k for a, a veteran it's kind of the range you want them when it comes to 88s always filter them out because base are going to show like 38 40k if you filter them out you'll find them in like the low 30s k range maybe even high 29 so they go for about 2570 training per quick sell so this comes out to about when you divide 33,600 by the way which is the formula divided by the amount of training which is 2570 you end up with 12.8 coins per that is not the best value it's not a horrible value you're not going to lose any like a big amount of coins doing this one over the other one but it's not the best value so if you're definitely choosing and you have the luxury of choosing pick the one that has 11. now here's the thing guys remember you'll actually end up probably losing more coins if you sell him to go buy a better value so if you have the card already you're fine to just quick sell it but if you don't have the card already and you're picking and you get to choose who you want to buy for training Always make sure you get the best value. Definitely beneficial in that sense. Now, the 89s go for around the 45K range. You can probably get them in like the low 40, 42. So you take this you take this value and you divide it by, they go for 3,570, which ends up being 12.6 coins per. Again, not the greatest value in comparison to the 87 so far, but it's definitely up there for one of the better values. So you could easily get away with using one of these values. Again, if you have it already, like if you pull it out of a pack, by all means, go ahead and quick sell if you want training. But if you're going to pick them yourself, always make sure you're getting the best one you can get. So heading over to the 90s. The 90s, again, again, another position that you really have to filter out. Because if you don't filter them out, you're going to get a weird selection of players. So you guys can see here, it's 70k, but I just saw 67. You can get the 90s for about like the 65k range, give or take, depending on what you filter. So 65k, and they go for 40, 000, well, 4,940. So you divide that, you end up with 13.3 coins per training so this not that this one's not great this is one of the worst ones so far that we even went over probably gonna be the worst one overall 90s used to be one of the best ones now they're not so i don't really recommend you guys go with the 90 overalls in terms of your choice of whether or not you want to get training from here i don't think it's the best one now the 91s same thing 91 you can get for about the 75k range if you filter them out properly so 75k divided by their value of 6840 you end up with 11.6 coins per. So this is one of the best ones, actually. So, so far, we got an 11 and 11.6. Those are the two and the 11 so far. Again, any of these are viable. If you want to buy in bulk, go with the 91s. There's going to be better bulk options as we go on throughout the video, but not a bad option at all. So let's head over to the 92s to see as the values get up. This is where you're going to start buying in bulk more than not. Pretty much, if you're buying in this range, 
this is where, this is where the bulk's gonna be. This is where we're gonna be getting like the, the tens, the, the 13,000s. I mean, the 92s themselves, I don't really recommend. I don't think they're not really one of the best values. I think there's better than them. So the 92s, I really, I didn't really go over. I skipped over them because we keep going over everyone. But as you guys can see, there's some of the best values. Things are looking like where they're gonna cap out, where they're gonna set at, like the ceiling versus the floor. So I kind of have an idea what we're gonna be working with. A lot of these values are pretty similar because as the year goes on, Madden people become smarter and they know how to take advantage of every training value. So it gets to the point where across the board, all the training values are created equal. But early in the year, there was big discrepancies like 38, 32, 25. Like there was big discrepancies because people didn't really know. And that people know more than not, you guys are pretty on top of these values at this point. But let's go over to the 93s, which is the next great value, which I believe the 93s were one of the best values actually. The 93s though are kind of weird because some of them are really expensive. Some of them are really cheap. It really just depends on the one you guys actually end up finding. Now, one of the good ones was Josh Allen, team of the week. That car was super cheap. Remember, this works with most 93s, not just him. But, oh no, it says, I'm not team of the week. NFL playoffs, I'm sorry. NFL playoffs, Josh Allen, 145K. There's probably other 93s in the similar range, but if you can find them from the 140 range and you divide that by their value, which is 13,100 training, you get 11 coins per. One of the best values that there is. So that's a big bulk buy right there, 13,100 training for a Josh Allen card right here for 11 coins per solid buy. Now let's go over to the 94s. Let's see them. The 94s, similar, similar thing to be quite honest with you guys. 11, 11 coins per some kind of like what we're maxing out at this point. Patrick Mahomes, another guy that's going to be one of the better values to, if you can get him for like below 208, slightly below, that's where his values are kind of nice at. He ends up being at a 94 overall. He quick sells for 18,200 training, which gives you 11 coins per as well. Now guys, quick advice. Sometimes buying in bulk isn't always the smartest thing for the most part. It really depends on where you're at with your team right now. Let's say you need 15,000 training to buy a bunch of power-ups and stuff. Do it. Let's say you need 3,000 training. Buying in bulk isn't smart because you're going to actually waste more coins initially just to get a small value. Let's say you only need to buy like evasive and escape artist, which is like, what, 3,000 training total? You can just go buy like... It shows here like an 89 even if it's a worse value it's better to do that than or buy 287s which would be a lot smarter than buying one of these higher ones just my advice here because i know a lot of people will be like i always gotta buy in bulk even if the value is slightly worse it's not worth spending 200 something k on a card when you only need 30k worth of training because now you have a big bulk of training that maybe later on you might need but at that point when you need it it's gonna be cheaper that's another thing people do they're like oh I'll need that training later. It doesn't matter. I, I, I might not need it now, but I'll need it in like a month. Yeah, well, in a month, the training will be much cheaper. So you could have converted that for a lot cheaper and saved a lot of coin. Never buy more than you need. If you need to buy in bulk, that's fine. There's no, I, I recommend buying these if you need that much. If you don't need that much, it's never worth actually doing. Now, beyond that is the 95 overalls, which I believe the max 95 was Tremaine. Well, the playoff cards are just super cheap as it is. The NFL playoffs appear to be the best values when it comes to uh, cards to get. So let's go to... Let's see, let's see. So at 276 is Drew Brees, which isn't the lowest value because he's the kind of snipe. So 275, 76 is the best value right now. As far as training goes, this is one of the best bulk values you can get, 275K, and they quick sell for 25,200 training. So you divide that, you end up with 11 coins per training, which is single-handedly probably one of the top three values in the game right now. So our ceiling here was a 90 overall with 13.3 coins per training, and our best value was 11k per which we got at 87s we got at 80 91s we got at 93s 94s 95s so best values to do 87s 91s 93s 94s 95s if you have an 88 or an 89 already you can sell it you can quick sell it you're not going to be losing too many coins there you're going to be just about breaking even in that sense like i said it's not worth it to go ahead and go sell a bunch of things to get a slightly better value at the end of the day because it's close enough. Now, if you have a 90, there are 13.3, they're not the best, but reduction does kill the value. If you sell them and you get the reduction hit, you're going to kill the little bit of value you might have been saving. So it's not entirely recommended, but it's still entirely up to you guys what you end up doing. There are gonna be probably better values in the next coming weeks. So remember, always do your own math. And again, you can use this formula for everything. This video isn't just direct numbers. You can use the formula given here, the advice given here, and you can go put it all together to get a decent put together amount of information. Now guys, this is about it for the video. If you already to the channel, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn the notify bell, boys, come join the family. The goal is 20K by the end of February. Hopefully, the Spain week doesn't hurt us too much. The week that we're gonna be gone for, hopefully we can still make up for it with a good amount of videos. And as well as guys, comment down below if you have any other values, any other advice or tips down below, help out the community as always. 
And if you need any direct help on this, you're confused on how this works, hit me up on Twitter or comment down below. I'll get to it as soon as I can. And guys, make sure to like the video. Can we get 350 likes this video? That'd be greatly appreciated, guys. Each and every one of you that come out every day. Noted gang, regular viewer, doesn't matter. I appreciate each and every one of you guys have been helping this channel grow. Thank you guys so much for that. But that's about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.